Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So here we have a 2015 Nissan ENV 200 electric van for sale. This has got the 24 kilowatt hour battery pack and it's an ex-British gas van, hence it's in this colour. And these aren't just white vans painted blue, they are supplied from the factory in the blue paint because you can see all the panels are blue. And British gas also fit a number of very useful accessories to these as well. The first one being a diesel auxiliary heater. So on the control here you have got a dial here to use your diesel heater but of course you've still got the standard um, electric heating that the van has got and what that means is in the winter you can burn a bit of diesel, it really does sip diesel, to give you additional heating so you can not use the electric heater and maximise your winter range. And then in the front here you've got your Weber Stowe air top diesel heater and then these are the feed-in pipes that blow the hot air into the cabin and it's in the footwell of uh, both passengers and then you've got an exhaust pipe down there to the ground. And then the diesel tank sits in the rear up on the side here but uh, it is just missing on this one because the previous owner uh, removed it, it sits on that bracket which clamps up on the side. There's the two feed pipes uh, but that will be replaced before the vehicle is sold. I'm just waiting for the bits to come into stock from the suppliers. Now while we've got the back open here this is the standard British gas racking. Of course this can all be removed. It's uh, just bolted on various brackets but we've got these useful uh, divided uh, compartments, drawers or whatever you want to call them. Uh, these uh, pockets on the side, uh, got LED lighting at the top, there's also LED lighting mounted in that racking at the rear. It's not currently working but it's probably uh, um, unclipped to that bundle of wires there. Um, all the wires are cut but it's very easy to obviously tee off that and that wiring is in that bundle. Uh, rubber floor, rubber matting should I say on the floor there. And then if I just go round to the back, That's what it looks like at the back but of course this can all be removed if you don't want it very uh, clean and tidy van no dents or scratches or marks on it at all it's all still looking like new and then just looking at this door we've got that racking there this has also got parking sensors fitted at the back. This is again a British gas thing. Uh, you don't get those as standard on an ENV 200. This has still got the reversing camera up there because of course that is factory standard. And then if I just jump in and switch it on and put it into reverse, we've got our parking, uh, our reversing image up there in the dash. And then this is the parking sensors display and of course you get the beep 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 thing as so well. This van is an Ascenta Rapid Plus so the Rapid means it's got the DC Rapid charging up front which I'll show you in a minute. The Plus means it's got the upgraded AC charger so as standard these have a 3.6 kilowatt charger but this has got the upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger and that basically means faster charging when you're at home or your workplace on a standard wall charger. Uh, this has also got the winter pack, so we've got heated, two position heated seats both sides and a heated leather steering wheel. Again, that's all for efficiency, much more efficient to heat your bum and your hands than heating all the cabin air. But of course, this has got that Weber Stowe um, diesel heater as well, so you're going to get maximum range in the winter. The mileage of this van is only 16,333 miles. And now for the charging. So as I said, this has got the upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt um, charger here, and that just gives you faster charging at home or if you're getting a, uh, an AC charge um, in car parks, on the roadside chargers, that sort of thing, you're gonna um, get more miles per hour with the upgraded charger. And then this is your DC rapid charger. So it is a 50 kilowatt Chadamo port and that's gonna charge the van from naught to 80% in only about 25 minutes. But the way you treat your charging is this is um, slow charging. So typically overnight charging when you're asleep 
or charging when you're not using the van and this is your rapid charging that you'd use when you're doing a longer distance drive and you need that quick charge to extend your range while you're using the van. And then in the back here we've got two charge cables so this is our type 1 to type 2 AC charging cable this is type 2 that you plug into a uh, wall charger or a public charging post typically 7 kilowatt um, and you will add about uh, on a 6.6 .6, you will add about uh, 20 21 miles of range per hour something like that and this is a portable charger often called a granny cable because this allows you to charge the van on a three pin plug so those are limited to 10 amp because you can't draw any more through your main socket and wiring for long periods of time so they're purposely limited to 10 amp which is 2.3 kilowatt so that will add about eight miles of range, eight or nine miles of range per hour of charging but they're very useful to top the van up while you're on site or initially obviously before you get your wall charger installed you will just charge the van overnight on a normal main socket so range range obviously depends on how you drive electric vehicles are much more efficient with uh, slower city driving and uh, rural roads where you've got lots of corners junctions um, and in cities you know traffic lights and things where you're slowing down so all the time you're slowing down you're getting a bit of charge back because you slow down on the motor rather than the brakes and that uh, that puts um, charge back into the battery that's the regenerative braking so uh, the full details are on on the range of these is on the website but on average you're going to get somewhere between 80 and 90 miles of range in the uh, summer and around the 60 mile mark in the winter but as i've said many times because this has got the auxiliary diesel heater uh, winter range in these ones the ex-British gas ones is going to be a little bit better than normal ones but all the details are on the website so now let's talk about the condition so if you see my videos before you know I point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can find I don't hide anything because I want people to know exactly what they're buying and then these videos give people the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar without coming here to view it first and then I get the vehicle delivered to you but of course it's here at Lifefit if you do want to come and view and test drive so let's start here and i'll give you a quick walk around but very little to show you on this one it really is in good condition it almost still looks like new it's only done 16,000 miles or so so uh it's still a cracking condition van this one much better than the average for for 2015. um it also does have michelin cross climate tires fitted on all the wheels which are pretty much the best tires you can get and ideal tires for the wind uh, for the uk climate very good in the summer they're a summer bias all season tire but also excellent in the winter and much much safer than driving summer tires in the winter it's got new genuine nissan wheel trims on all the wheels rather than cheapo plastic ones that uh, many others fit on their vehicles they're selling um, so yeah very little to point out it's got no dents or scratches at all down this side no scratches on the mirror caps um, really is in good condition uh, no dents in the back doors which uh, you normally get on vans again down this side all dent free and scratch free saying that there's a tiny little scratch just there um, but everything I'm going to show you I have taken pictures of and you can go on the photo gallery and zoom up and have a good look in detail. So the only things I need to point out was there was a little bit of uh, scuffing on the front bumper. Down here there was a bit of scuffing here, most of it polished out. Um, but there's a sort of patch here the size of a thumbnail uh, where I've had to put a bit of touch up paint in and just along that edge. But really minor and it's, of course it's plastic anyway and then along the front there was just a couple of bits there that needed a bit of touch-up painting um, and then the front bumper it's got a little bit of scratching there in the plastic and again low down there and a few little marks low down but of course you always get that on plastic bumpers anyway where they hit curbs and things um, yeah and then another little bit there where it needed a little bit of touch-up paint and that's it very very minor it is a pristine van and then on the inside again really clean and tidy because it's done very few miles uh, new carpet mats on the seats 
and uh, the seats are all in really nice condition nowhere uh, this actually hasn't been cleaned yet inside so it will look better than this when it goes um, but yeah as you can see all very clean and tidy and then around on the driver's side if I just remove my bit of paper you can see their new carpet mat on the floor and uh, this seat is all very good condition for a Nissan EMV 200 so they do tend to wear on the side because of the height the seat is you tend to sort of slide in and out and slide your bum over the bolsters there so Nissan EMV 200 seats do tend to wear out quicker on the side but this is all still good obviously low mileage um, there is another another one of those sort of pocket fabric things uh, mounted up there on the steel bulkhead and a torch bracket mounted there but of course they can be removed if you don't want them uh, we've got under tray storage there um, this has got the winter pack as I said so you've got the benefit of heated front seats and heated steering wheel nice and clean uh, uh, roof lining clean door cards no scratching um, and uh, yeah it's just a really really tidy example of one of these so I think that's about it uh, obviously we've got the green number plates front and back because it is a zero emission vehicle uh, these are also tax exempt and uh, London congestion zone exempt until uh, December 2025 I think I'll correct that if it's uh, wrong um, and obviously these are ULEZ exempt as well being a zero emission so this one's uh, almost ready to go just waiting for that uh, plastic diesel tank to come in and that will get fitted in the back um, but if you're interested give me a call or email and as I said I can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use.